Hello friends, welcome to part 9 of the uh, React Hooks series. So let's get started. So uh, what we are going to do, we are going to learn more about use reducer in this, especially the fetch data with the use reducer. So what we are going to do first, let we are uh, going this, let it be blank. And uh, one thing is there, we should have this, uh, not this this axios installed if you have not installed access install it by npm i axios so we are going to use access to do the call okay so uh, next let me create a new file data fetching dot js inside it inside of my components folder then as always r a f c e i'll do i have a snippet for that uh, this one this is a very good snippet which have any shortcut which give, gives you the skeleton so i got a skeleton for data fetching okay so after that let me close it so that i have more screen in space mm. i'm going to use uh, first the i'm going to show how to do it through use state and use effect then we are going to see how to do it with use reducers because we're learning use reducers here uh, so let me do it use state comma use effect and i will have const loading comma three states set loading equal to use state of true so this loading can be used to show a nice spinner also when the data is getting loaded because it takes time to for the data getting loaded so this is a cool way to shoot do that then const error comma set error equal to use state and this will show the error and this const post comma set post we're going to have a single post here from the api endpoint use state so the single post will be as a object okay then after that let me have the use state use effect use effect and function and we want it to run only once so we have to give this okay then okay did we import axios no import axios from axios and then we need the json placeholder endpoint so let me quickly get it json placeholder yeah i want this endpoint actually so which gives only one as an object so axios dot get i want this one only then dot then response when i get the response back which is a, a, a promise so that's why we need access for this let loading equal to false so whatever is spinner or text you are showing it will become false set post equal to response dot data and set error is a thing at empty string and the catch block so sometimes there are two ways to use access away it is okay sometimes this then catch is also very good so 
so you can use any one of them both of them are very modern that catch set loading is true no set loading is false here also because we are getting an error so we don't want to keep the spinner being shown continuously set post yeah we didn't receive the post so we want to set it back to the object empty object set error and we will show some error something went wrong okay then let me come here yeah and i have run it only once so i have to give this empty brackets okay and then here loading first i will see the loading value so if it is true i'm using the ternary operator if it is true i'll say the loading text you can load a spinner component here or a gif file for the, those loading images post dot title i'm only showing the title i can show the whole post also through a component obviously and error if error is there then error or else none okay so this much is there and now and go here and data fetching auto imported here so if it doesn't auto import you have to import it so i just press enter and it got auto import or there is a shortcut also control and a space you have to give in a windows and data fetching see that data got loaded correctly the first data got loaded so how to see the error code being executed so let me do this type p code and something went wrong is also been done okay so now what we are going to do we are going to uh, do a second one data fetching and this time what we are going to do we are going to do it with the reducer okay so it will be completely different so because we had learned this earlier also this way data fetching one dot js oh i made it wrong in my new keyboard that comma and dot i get confused r a f c e then use let user comma use effect is there so this time uh, see here we have done it with the help of use state now we are going to have, have it with use reducer the use effect the way and this is the way actually you will soon see what we used to do with the uh, our reducers that redux it is similar to what we have in redux okay so here outside this data fetching one only we will have const initial state equal to this loading is true error is yes post is this so uh, object is there for loading error and post okay and then we'll have that reducer const reducer 
equal to state comma action so this is the last part of the reducer series so you might have uh, use re use reducer so you might know this thing so switch action dot type case is fetch success oh this should not be here this should be at the end and then fetch success is return loading is false post is action dot payload and error is empty string then let me have a let me copy it and this one will be as you might have guessed fetch error loading will be false here only and it is just similar to what we are doing here in the case of error action payload there will be post will be this and this will be something went wrong okay and after that default return state okay so after that let us go inside here and here as we were using here that use state now you might have guessed what we are going to use const state comma this patch equal to use reducer reducer comma initial state okay so reducer and initial state then after that use effect let me copy this access dot cat and then not here dot ten get a response and you might have guess we'll do a dispatch so we have this dispatch in this uh, your reducer so dispatch function dispatch will do a type of if it is a success so then is our success the third type will be fetch success and fetch success and payload will be payload will be you see the payload whatever the payload i pass which it will go to the post so it will be like this response dot data okay and in the case of catch other the dispatch is type of see if i go up 
I don't need anything payload here because payload I'm just setting it here so I will go and do this fetcher only this much I will do okay and this is done and uh, here let me copy this but one thing is different this is not loading this is this is our state loading is our state state this is state so state dot loading and state dot post dot title okay because it is stored here in this post it this is also post and this is state dot error this is state dot error okay so let me save it and you will say something went wrong because uh, when we took this 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 was type code okay so let me do for the correct one okay okay anyways it will not run my bad uh, why you know that thing let me copy this app.js you have to import this so now from something went wrong it will go to yeah that one first okay so let me show this is working the second one to the third post yeah so it is working so this completes our part 9 hope you uh, learn about the use reducer hooks it is one of the less used hooks in uh, in hooks but it is very powerful because it have the concept of redux and you can implement most of redux here. see i am i have implemented all of redux in this file so this is a very good use case yeah this is much simpler and most people will use this one but there are use cases for this one also so you learn how to use the same thing here so hope you liked it so smash the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Thank you.